Tell me about, uh, you heard about what happened and obviously tell me what you're doing. Um, yes, I did hear about what is happening. My kids attend St. Mary's School, so they were aware of it. Um, so basically we're raising some support and awareness and we have decided to get a post office box which was um, donated by Lake Ridge Chrysler and people can basically send in letters of support and these letters will is more for the emotional part of it and just to show um, Hunter that we care and we've also done a collection at CPK so together we've raised a close to $700, maybe over, and it's all going towards a good cause, and we're hoping we can help the family out. What did this, uh, when you first heard about it, what were your thoughts? It's wrong. Everybody should have stuck together. I feel bad for everybody who was involved with it. Um, there's going to be a lot that has to come out of it for the long-term effects. What started out as small, grew pretty quickly if you can talk a little bit about that. Yes, it did. So we basically went in with the card and we started, we were just going to collect tunies and uh, just do a small donation to help with the cell phone to replace that. And then people were just wanting to give and we went around with the card. People, you know, gave more than the $2. So it just grew big. So we got to $700 and we're happy with that. Hopefully it will help. What do you want this to show to Hunter? That there is people in the community that care. Um, we don't want them to lose faith in the community because there are a lot of good people out there. Like if people want to help, what okay. can they do? If people want to, ready? If people want to help um, in the emotional aspect, we are collecting cards and the address is anti-bullying, P.O. Box 59, Port Hope, L1A 3V9. Our goal is to receive 50 cards. Um, so we're hoping that we, people will mail cards of support and encouragement for Hunter and hope him get back on the right path.